<laughs> okay, I'm going to ask you for just two more uh, mm -hmm. because there are just too many songs. We can't go through all of them. So I'm going <laughs> yeah, to name sure. two more and then sure. we we Stingy Boys. Stingy Boys. Yeah, man, well, you've got some collabs with some yes. some other. Finally, some, some, someone's going to put some respect <laughs> on my name. <laughs> <laughs> Let them know, bro. <laughs> oh, man. So, man, you don't know how big of an argument I had with a, a by marketing, you know, guy who yeah. was like, he, Carlos, he's, he, was, uh, he was teaching me marketing. And uh, so he's Latin. So he's like, Evel, you don't understand. You just released Mamona Samalila. <laughs> you... Stingy Boys is a whole different song. It's, it's not, you know, yeah. you, you gotta wait for a beat. Because people people try to figure out who is this guy? It's, it's two different guys. It's two, <laughs> so I was like, man. Your so accent like, man, it's everything. Shout out to Carlos. So, and, it's, and so, Stingy Boys. Yeah. Stingy Boys it was produced by one of, I think, is enough. He's, He's gonna be one of the best. If if people need to know, he's young boss, mm, uh, mm. very amazing, talented yep. producer. I've given. He's doing about three, four songs on my album. Whoa. Just producing, yeah. So Whoa. he's he's that good. I've loved working with young boss, mm -hmm. and he's in a whole nother city. And what was cool about that is, um, when I heard his sound, I said, "Where?" He's like, "I'm in Kitwe. It's like four hours away." I said, "Okay, uh, would you like to work?" He's like, oh, would you? I said, "I'll drive there." So I drove four hours, man, just Yo. to get a chance to be, did my own. And, and the people's like his, his, um, you know, his manager's just like, yo, like who does that? Like I didn't, I'm like, man, music is passion. Mm -hmm. if, it's, mm -hmm. if you see the gift, the gift is there. You know what I'm saying? And so we, so when, so what we did is I wrote, Stingy Boys was an idea I had. So I said, okay, produce it. And then what we'll do is that we'll put, young boss featuring yep. people mm. you know because i feel like it's bigger for you you know and and uh it's a whole different style and one of the things is what we did with stingy boys was the whole so as i was dealing oh, with that was kind of you, man. yeah so the, I, I just feel like it's it's done so well for him and it's one of his most viewed songs so because i felt like there's so much talent that we can't allow to be buried mm. you know and and he's the one who produced it yeah he's the one who produced so. it so i wrote the song Young Bus, hey, yeah, party brokers. Why do you go a stingy boy? Yeah? Why do you put me through my stress? Yeah, telling me I'm not good enough for ya. Then I wanted to get a feature to do the verse, and his manager is like, "Bro, just rap, just rap." Mm. I even had Limo Blaze, uh, Limo Blaze. Oh, that was a yeah. good one. Yeah. So I had Limo Blaze. So, but then we just like uh, he sent something. I, I just wanted to talk, but so I told Limo, "I was like, ah, bro, we're gonna have to remove that part." So he's like, "Okay, cool, yeah." He's, like, he's okay, but Limo's so cool, man. He's so down to earth. So what we did was, um, <clears throat> Stingy Boys. The whole purpose of that song was. I remember I was talking at a college. So I was talking to these guys and they were telling me about how, like, ah, oh man, like they're, the, the pressure of a lot of college girls dating guys who are 
older older they can't pick them up and then you as a college boy feeling insignificant mm. you know what i'm saying and then later on these girls sometimes coming back and saying no there's no men and whatnot you know what i'm saying mm. but like those That's are if you don't give our money <laughs> yeah if you don't give our money you're stingy yeah so what we did was i said you know why don't we make a song that kind of shares that message like it's like that name of a stingy man we're gonna switch it we're around. Gonna we're it. gonna own it mm. and just say stingy boys and that's how we went with stingy boys and stingy boys is that track which just basically sends that stingy boys are awesome yeah so yeah. we had fun with that <laughs> so how does does it get does it get the uh play like when mm. you went have you released it does it get some airplay? yeah we we, we released it, known? it i don't it it it, it it got some good airplay because I left that part to them. Okay. Okay. To okay. Them, okay. Because you because you because you did give it to yes, them. Yes, I did give it. Okay. To them, yeah. Okay. There's one that I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to to let me remember it. Pa. Pa, pa Kofi. Oh yes. Yeah. We we'll more wash it now. Yeah. Yeah. So Pa Ma Kofi was a was um was kind of in an honor to my parents mm. when I talked about how like all I just knew from my parents a lot was their prayer life. Every night at 3 a.m. they'd wake up to pray for us every night every single night so when i think about some of the things i've achieved and and they were the prayers of my father and him never getting the opportunity to see them mm. so what i say in the song is uh which is i'll fight on my knees like there's people that are praying for you that will never see the success they're praying for you Mm. and they would die on their knees and so that is a dedication to those people whose prayer life is like that mm. where they may never see the things that they prayed for but they believe that they'll come even in the generation to come and that's a level of sacrifice i think many of us don't see Hebrews 1, we're Hebrews living, 11. yeah we're living sac we're living prayers of people that came before us mm. And that's just been amazing. So that song was paid for. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's the, so the lyrical aspect of what I was trying to interpret. You know what I'm saying was just in the presence of God. You know, yeah. yeah.
Dude, I'm telling you, I'm so tempted to go down through <laughs> all the other songs, but I can't. I can't. I need to respect some time of yours. Um, yeah. So, what I, what I'm going to ask is, when can we expect the album coming out? Or, or, or you, or we, no date set yet? No date set yet. Okay. Um, I I'm very ish, I'm very uh, I'm very attached to this project. Okay. I love it. Yeah, I'm very attached to this project because I feel like this is my first project after a long time. Mm. But what I feel is um, I just wanted to make sure that everything is done well, perfected. And then when it's ready to be presented, it's presented well. I get it. You know, where where people can actually understand and say, wow, this is so. So, yeah, so ish. I'm going to say this in the greatest way I can say is outside of being touched by god outside of being impacted by this song impacting people's lives artistically i want people to sit down and say i want to listen to music mm. i just want to listen to music mm. i'm not gonna ask this guy to make me a genre or you know it should sound it should be one style of music mm. or whatnot it is just art to the greatest of its ability of my own ability in terms of my, what I'm capable of doing and sitting down and saying, let's make this sound. Let's make this sound. Mm. Let's do this sound. Let's do this. And let's do this. music, just art. And it's because one of the things I've come to embrace is um, in 2011, I taught, I had a discussion with God is the thing about the kingdom is using those gifts. Mm you'll be accountable for not using those yep. gifts. And I feel like many of us, we've buried those gifts to be pleasing. You know? Abel, give us a worship album. And then I bury my rap mm. to Ouch. give people a worship album. I get it now, I understand. You know what I'm saying? I bury my R&B to give people a worship mm. album. And then when God comes and says, why did not use this gift? as a way to communicate then it's not then that's stepping out of the mm. kingdom mindset the kingdom mindset is when you're given gifts you multiply them. Mm. you know you mm. multiply you do the best of your you ability don't even add, yeah you multiply you, you multiply man and so um that's what i want to do i don't want to i i don't want to sit on a genre because this is more suiting for this group of people or that is more suiting you know, the music that you've talked about, the from Tatualale to mm. this, they all have different feels. They all have different emotions. They all have different sounds. If you strip the words and just the genres, the sounds are different. Mm. And that's just enjoying music. And so what we did with this album is we locked ourselves in the studio for about a month. And what we did is uh, I had a saxophone player. I had a keyboard player. Mm. I had a bass, guitarist. And I have some of the videos which I which I've posted up where we're just working. Mm. And what it was doing was um, all this music we were creating, we were doing it together. And it wasn't just like Abel's idea. It was, hey, what do you what do you hear? What do you hear? What do you hear about this song? What mm. do you hear about this song? So the saxophonist had something to say. Yeah, the, mm. the keyboardist had something. The guy who was playing the guitar. And everyone we created a sound that were just like, yeah. Is everybody good? Yeah, yes. we're good. You know what I'm saying? So some of the sounds, I'll play some of the stuff, but uh, in and uh, but you'll get a chance and opportunity to to realize that it's it's an exploration of some great I love stuff. It. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. What? Um, there's a song that one more song. I mean, on this new album. In fact, when I when I asked you about it, you told me it's on the new album. Just hold on one sec. Oh, it's okay. So there's somebody was calling. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So there's 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 a, there's a song I think mm -hmm. with a guy called Ephraim. And when I asked you, man, you mm -hmm. just played a sample. Uh, is it Ephraim or mm. you and it's, it's Ephraim, eh? A guy you were singing with. What were, what were we doing? Where were we? I think we went to his place and asked you about the song. Anyway, forget it. Maybe maybe I can. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe the song is not on the album. Okay. Um. Okay. What I'll ask you to do then is a parting shot. First of all, not actually forget the parting shot. Before the parting shot, I want to say. May this interview introduce you to a whole new audience. Yeah. May you understand just the impact that you guys have had 
on the African landscape, the African music scene. I've been to Uganda, I've been to Tanzania, I've been to Ethiopia, all of these different places. I've been to Zimbabwe. Mm. In all of these different places, you guys, and by you guys, I'm talking about Lot House, the brotherhoods that you guys have. Mm -hmm. There's such a huge impact that you've had on the African youth yes. scene. And I tell you this as somebody who was a youthful rapper and had penetrated some of these places. You guys still today are still relevant with a different youth democrat graphic that is coming. And your message is so powerful, has a full Holy Spirit in it. Um, may you, may the devil not lie to you mm -hmm. about the impact that you're having. Mm -hmm. uh, may, uh, may God give you the strength to keep on, because I know this industry <laughs> and, <laughs> and the madness that, that, that comes yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah. It's difficult. And sometimes, especially gospel, uh, may you guys still stand. Yeah. May you still stand. And mm -hmm. Finally, may you see the fruits. There's nothing as beautiful as mm -hmm. when you see the fruits when you're living. Yeah. When somebody write, watches this CTA and writes a comment at the bottom about how this interview has impacted them, that's sort of the energy yeah. that enables me to keep doing it. Yeah. Um, part in short. Yeah. <laughs> look into the camera okay. and speak to say whatever it is that you want to say. Or is there anything you want to say that I've left out? Oof, what have I not said? <laughs> oh, hold on, wait, yeah. wait. I know I did a parting shot, but I'm going to cut it and put mm -hmm. this first. Yes, go ahead. Comedy. Yes. Dude, how can we live on comedy? <laughs> comedy. Let's talk yes. about your comedy because yeah. you're a full blown out stand up comedian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Doing no. impressions. <laughs> <laughs> I will honestly say, man, like it's, um, 